I'm back. <laughs> oh my god, it has been a while since I've been here. Oh, Jesus. I am so sorry for not being here, guys. I have just been busy with my own channel, and then I got lazy. <laughs> Flat out lazy. So, do you know what? I decided to make it up to you guys. I'm going to do a metal review. Yay, come on. Everyone who knows me knows I'm a huge metal fan. So, you know what? I'm not going... Now, I am going to get these popular... I am going to be doing reviews on popular bands and all that stuff. But I'm not going to be talking as a fan. I'm going to be talking not as the fan of the band. I'm going to be talking as a fan in general of metal and rock. And I'm going to be giving my, my true opinion on it, you know. And so, all right, so here we go, a metal review. First things first. Um, today, they actually released, because I got Spotify, so... They actually released Slipknot, that is. They, being Slipknot, released a new song today for their EP. It's called Sarcastrophe. Um, and Sarcastrophe, what I think of it... Actually, to be honest with you, I like it. Compared to, compared to um, All Hope Is Gone album, that album was... Ugh. I want to say a train wreck. I really, really want to say a train wreck. But that that's already taken by um, A Thousand Sons. That's already taken by Linkin Park's A Thousand Sons. Because we all know how shitty that album was. As much as you want to butter it up and say it was good, it was fucking shit. Especially the last track. It's just that solo fucking guitar, that Green Day logic, the same tune over and over again logic that Green Day does in every album now. That's Green... That I'm not even going to get started on Green Day. But this isn't necessarily to bash. Like I've said, this is basically just letting me know, letting you know, Sarcastrophe is actually really good. It reminded me a lot of their Iowa album. Now, for those of you who don't know... Slipknot, they know that's their best album. The Iowa album was their best one. But I beg to differ because I personally think Volume 3 is their best one because that was my very first album I saw. But, anyway, point. Back on point. Sarcastrophe has a really unique sound. It's angry. It's in your face. It's, it's very angry. It's the song you could tell. It's just very angry. Corey Taylor sounds angry in the song, like always, in all of his Slipknot stuff. Um, but with all the outside drama going on, he sounds even more angry. And it really, really shows on this track. You know, there's a lot of outside shit going on. He, I mean, he, he fired, he recently fired the um, Slipknot band member from Stone Sour. And with the death of their bandmate, and all that, it really shows the emotion in these songs. It really shows the anger, the hurt, the pain. You can really feel it in all these songs, man. It, it, it's... Sarcastrophy is great. And... But overall, I think the worst song is going to be 13. Um, 13, I really wasn't feeling that. Yeah, this may as well just say this is a double review. Um, I'm just going to fuck it. The whole LP is going to get reviewed right now. I'm going to start with the singles. The, the, the singles, of course, like I said, like I said, Sarcastrophe, it reminded me a lot of their Iowa album. And I really, really fucking loved that song. I mean, yeah, I definitely loved it. Um, but 13 is where it really falls apart here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, 13, it fucking sucked. I didn't like it. I, I really didn't. Um, I mean, it's not the worst song, and I mean, that I've heard, and it's like, it's not like, oh, it's fucking shit. It sucks. I hate it. And fuck this song. It, it sucks. But uh, I can't picture Slipknot doing any slow songs they just don't have it you know it means they did good with snuff but then they started picking up the anger but 
this this reminded me a lot of a slower version of snuff um just like vermilion part two vermilion part two a lot of people liked it but i didn't like it i, I thought it was a i thought it was a right average at best average at best but um yeah i mean if you guys get the chance definitely listen to the devil and i the negative one 13 just pass on that and uh probably sarcastrophe sarcastrophe like i said was great i loved it the devil and i absolutely fucking love that song um the negative one their hit single their single off this off this album um the negative one absolutely fucking awesome um just wanted to let you guys know this real quick you know i mean it's been a while since i've returned you know um i'm gonna have a lot more reviews coming your way a whole lot more stuff coming your way um if i'm not here i'll be on my channel um that's what i'm that's where my bread and butter is mainly but i come here too i'm gonna come here too don't worry i have not forgot about you guys i really have not i've just been busy with my channel and all this other stuff and I do apologize for that. So feel free to like up, subscribe to NWSC1AN, because that's where it's all about. Um, so game on, rock out, knuckle up, stay frosty, peace.